Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new Magic Trackpad. This episode of MacMost Now is brought to you by Gazelle. Gazelle is the easiest, fastest way for you to sell or recycle your gadgets. Every item gets an offer and you get paid to be environmentally responsible. And it really is easy. You can go to gazelle.com and see what offer you can get for your unused gadgets without even signing up or creating an account. And while you're there, use promo code MacMost2 for a 5% bonus. So here I've got the new Magic Trackpad from Apple. This is basically a mouse replacement and it acts just like a trackpad on a MacBook or a MacBook Pro. It's pretty much the same shape as the Apple wireless keyboard or the standard Apple USB keyboard. It's got the battery compartment here on the back which gives it an angle when it's sitting on your desk. Matter of fact, you can put it right next to the current wireless keyboard and it fits right in, almost makes it look like one device. It's a pretty large surface, larger than what you have on a MacBook, at least the smaller MacBooks, and you can use the entire thing and use multi-touch gestures just like you can on a MacBook trackpad. In addition, the entire thing is a button. It's not just that you tap on the pad like older trackpads did, but it actually depresses ever so slightly and makes a nice click that you can feel and hear. You can also use it for a right click or second mouse button by clicking with two fingers or clicking on a certain area of the trackpad. There are a lot of settings that you can customize. Let's take a look at those. So here's System Preferences, the new trackpad section. You get this when you update your desktop Mac uh, with the Magic Trackpad update. Uh, you may look and see that it's familiar because it's pretty much the same thing as you get on the MacBooks, MacBook Pros. You can select many different options here and on the right side you get videos that show you the basics according to what you're mousing over here on the left. So in addition to be able to set the speed of uh, tracking, double clicking, and scrolling uh, just as you can with a mouse, you get a lot of different options here. For instance, if you like to actually just tap and not actually press down on the trackpad to click, you can select that. You can also select a secondary click by clicking either in the bottom right or left corner, so an actual area for the secondary click. Uh, in addition, you can do two finger click for a secondary click here and there's several other different things you can do. For instance, of course, you can scroll with two fingers, you can rotate kind of like you can do on a, uh, an iPhone or iPad and pinch as well. Uh, you can use screen zoom with this by holding down the control key. There's also three finger uh, controls that you can do to navigate or drag and even four fingers that you can use to launch expose or to switch applications. Now when the Magic Mouse came out, a lot of developers came out with third-party extensions to OS X where you can do all sorts of different things with the surface of the Magic Mouse. And I'll bet you those same developers are working on things for the Magic Trackpad as well. I can say that I've been using it since getting it as a replacement for my Magic Mouse and I love it. I have a MacBook Pro as well so it's nice to have a unified interface between the two machines and I find it's very easy to control and there's a lot of precision in this. I've been able to actually just go ahead and use all my applications like normal and I don't miss using a mouse at all. Of course, the existence of the Magic Trackpad has led to speculation that it could be used for other Apple devices. For instance, a new Apple TV could use this as a remote control. You can already use the current Apple TV with an iPhone app and do all sorts of gestures. So everything's kind of set up. I could even see perhaps the current Apple TV getting an update and being able to use this. It does have the big advantage over a mouse and that you can use it while holding it away from your desk. So to run presentations, for instance, you can sit and hold this in one hand and swipe with it. Whereas with a mouse, you really can't do that. You need the surface to put the mouse on. It is a little pricey at $69 and I hope maybe in years to come the price comes down a little bit. Of course, it also comes as an option now for new desktop machines. So you can perhaps just get it as part of your package. And I also can see Apple building this into the future keyboards so you have a single keyboard trackpad device rather than a separate keyboard and mouse device. I can speculate that now we have a Magic Trackpad and also the Magic Mouse and 60% of Macs are laptops with the trackpad anyway that future versions of OS X will use touch gestures even more than they currently do. Hope you like this look at the Magic Trackpad. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.